Welcome back, readers and writers. This is another book review. Today we're going to be reviewing Michael Connolly's The Night Fire. Now, this is a book part of the Renee Ballard and Harry Bosch series. And so, again, it was another book where I bought, I'm not realizing that it was out of sequence, but I'm just going to read a little bit of the uh, introduction to you guys. So, Harry Bosch and LAPD detective Renee Ballard come together again on the murder case that has obsessed Bosch's mentor, the man who trained him. Now... Basically, it goes in and says, Back when Harry Bosch was just a rookie homicide detective, he had an inspiring mentor who taught him to take work personally and light the fire of relentlessness for every case. Now, because this is a book that is out of sequence, I'm not going to read the rest of it in case it has a spoiler for anyone who is currently reading this series. And so basically, I just want to go in and talk about how the book was structured, um, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and just to give you a little brief uh, introduction to Michael Connolly, um, it says here that he is an author of 32 previous novels, so he has been around for quite some time. Um, you know, practicing craft, and <clears throat> so his books include the Harry Bosch series, which I believe this is part of that, uh, The Lincoln Lawyer, um, he is a former newspaper reporter, and I believe one of his series is, uh, on a TV TV show, TV series, uh, there's a podcast, and it says that he spends most of his time in California and Florida. It doesn't actually say where he is from. Um, so, truth be told, this was the first book, first uh, suspense, detective, mystery type of book that I've ever read. And considering it was my first one, it actually it, it actually uh, surprised me because I didn't I didn't really know what to expect, and to have such a good book as my first go at the genre it was really nice. Um, even though it was out of sequence it was still easy enough for me to kind of get into the characters and imagine them and imagine their scenarios and everything else. The scenes were really well written. The Now the thing is, I, I'm not too familiar with the genre and, and detectives, but the way that they, the way that it was written, they were working on several different cases all at once, basically. So it kept things really interesting because it wasn't just one thing. You start off in one section and you're you're working on that case, but then you have another case going on. So it was nice to see that there was a bit of variety in it. Now, again, I don't know if that's just kind of the standard thing, but I really enjoyed that because while the characters are dealing with one thing in their chapter, it actually flip-flops they're dealing with it, and then they're back together, so you see them kind of dealing with their own personal projects, you know, cases, and then they come back together to work on a different one, so the uh, the entire time you're reading, you're actually thinking, oh, well, what about that one, or what about that one, so it was actually really nice, um, very well written, um, again, the use of the word said is still present, so I'm still looking for a book that doesn't contain that, but it didn't take away from it. It was really a really good read, really well written. And so ultimately, at the end of the day, 
I totally recommend this book. Now, if the rest of the series is anything like this, I would go out on a limb and recommend the entire series. Now, I don't know if it actually specifies here in the beginning which books. I think it does. Yeah, so there, there's actually a lot. I don't know in which order, but it, as you guys can see, there is a long, long list of books. And if I were to see another one of these books, um, online or at a store or whatever, I would not hesitate to pick another one of these up. These, this was really well done. So, again, at the end of the day, I highly recommend this book. Um, and again, I would go out on a limb and say that the series would be good as well. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that review of this book. And, um... If you've read the book, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And if you haven't, and you do end up buying the book, um, let me know what your thoughts are on it as well. The price on the book is 37 Canadian. It is a little on the expensive side, to be completely honest. But it is a really good book. So if you can get it used by all means if you don't have a problem spending the 37 dollars i don't think you're going to be disappointed especially if you like you know mystery detective type of books i think this if this genre is for you most people are probably not even going to blink at 40 dollars. most books that i've enjoyed i've actually spent 40 dollars or more on them um a good example would be the Harry Potter series. I believe I was spending about $40 per book and didn't bother me. So, really well written. So, yeah, if you guys like this review, if you thought that I gave just enough information or whatever, you know, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on the book if you've read it. Uh, leave some thoughts on how I presented the book, um, if you have any questions, let me know, and um, if you guys want to see more book reviews, subscribe, let me know that you're engaged, and um, I'm doing one about every month still, um, so I've got quite a stack there, so there will be more, and they're going to be different genres, I'm trying something a little bit different. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go back to my, uh, at the moment, my current uh, favorite author. We're going to be going back to a book of his in a little bit. So stay tuned for that.